Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking through Snapscene, an app from Toby Dynavox that is based around things that are called visual scene displays. Now a visual scene display is a photograph or a picture of anything that we can turn into a high-tech AAC screen. Now this one you'll see here has a photograph of two girls playing ball and the orange circles there are called hot spots. Now you can draw a hot spot around anything you can take a picture of and it makes AAC very accessible to different users. There are some built-in templates already in the device in the app and we are going to go through how to make new ones, how to edit the ones that are there, and tweaking some settings. So let's jump into Snapscene by Toby Dynavox. Welcome to Snapscene. This is what you first see when you log in to the app. Now here you'll see the visual scene display that I showed you in the intro. They also have another example for book reading. And another file here with some basic communication pages. We have colors, animals, numbers 1 through 10, positions, your basic introductory ones, in, out, on, off, up, down, shapes, and lowercase letters. Now all of these are pre-recorded they're built into the system and I want to use these to show you how the app works. Now if we go into this upper right hand menu up here, the carrot, it will get you into the edit mode and edit mode allows you to do all of the magic behind the scenes. If I click on hotspot you can see where the user can activate the scene to make it talk that ball I want that ball catch it give it to me please and so on and so forth so wherever you see a hot spot wherever you draw one that is what the system is going to say now let's just quickly add one here if I wanted to draw a hot spot and say Let's just say blanket. You just draw around, trace around the object. I'm going to add a blanket and then record. Blanket. Blanket. And now I have another hotspot area. If I close the edit region, blanket. It's as easy as that. It took, what, a few seconds to get that set up? That's why this is pretty magical as a program. Now, the basic concepts are a really great place to start, but obviously it's very limiting. Also, another thing that I noticed here is they're all lowercase letters, and traditionally we teach uppercase letters to kids first, so I would definitely add in an uppercase letter page right off the bat or even have one that has upper and lower next to each other so they see both. Uh, same with these you can add in additional shapes like there's no heart and some of the position words are tricky. Another thing that I personally do when I use and create new scenes is I will add text and you can do that one of two ways. You can show the labels that are already built into the page, or you can add text to your picture before you even bring it into Snapscene. And in a future video, I'll show you both ways, but just so you can see what I mean, we go back to the carrot, go to settings, and we have the ability to show this hotspot label here. So if we turn hotspot label on, you're going to be able to see in teeny tiny print what the labels are for each of those pages here. I'm not a huge fan of that just because it is so tiny and I'm always promoting literacy. One thing to, to 
change that up a little bit, I prefer to put them on animate. Show hotspot labels, animate, and then check the box to animate them. Now you're going to see something very different. As you see, there's no label already on the page, but when you tap, that's when the magic happens here. And I just love this for a lot of reasons. First of all, you hear the voice. You also see it animate with the label. So the child or adult who's using this gets to see both or gets to experience both. They see it and they hear it. Another option that you can do is you can make these labels high contrast. I find sometimes, so just click this box here, leave everything else the same. I find that sometimes I have a blue background in my picture and the high contrast labels show up a little bit better. Monkey. They're also more compatible for any of our students with visual impairments. However, this is still pretty small. Bird. But it's better than the label was previously. Now let's talk about how to add a new photo or picture, whatever you want to create into a talking scene. Always click your carrot to get into edit mode and you'll see two different buttons. The blue button is going to give you a new folder. The orange button is going to give you a new page within the folder. So think about a filing cabinet. We're going to create a new folder first. Now it does default to the camera on your device, so I'm going to quickly click on Pick Photo. This will take me to my device file. So whatever camera, picture, role is default on your device is what it's going to go to. On my computer it goes to the Pictures folder that's built into Windows. And we are going to choose this picture of a kitchen here. I click on it until the check mark appears and then click on select. If that looks good, you can go ahead and zoom in, which is nice. This is a zoomed this is zoomed out as far as it can go, but it would be cool if you just wanted to focus on one part of a larger picture or you needed to edit out a child who was in the photo that shouldn't be on someone else's device or whatnot. And once you're happy with it, you can click on Accept. And as easy as that, I now have a new folder and new scene within that folder. So whatever is up at the top is what is going to be represented as the folder picture. Let me show you here. If we wanted to make animals the top, you click and hold or tap and hold to rearrange them. And now you can see this folder looks like the animal picture. Again, I can do that one more time. Hold until it gets larger and move it up on top. Now the folder cover is shapes. You can also move scenes around between folders. So if I wanted shapes to be in here with kitchen for some reason, you just hold and drop it in there and voila, there you go. Really quick and easy to move things around. Just make sure you tap and hold until you see that the size change and then you can move them wherever you need to. Let's go back to our kitchen and do a couple quick hotspots. I am going to do a hotspot to talk about what a child might say interacting with this kitchen. So my label is sink, but I'm going to record time to wash the dishes. Time to wash the dishes. Time to wash the dishes. 
Again, the label and the voice don't have to match if you're going for more of a language development perspective. If you are really working on literacy, you would want them to match. So we can change that as well. If I go back to Hotspot and click on it, delete the previous recording, I'm going to click the X, and then it goes back to the microphone to record a new one. Sync. 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 Let's do one more. Let's talk about the stove here. Draw around anywhere you think the person using the app would tap. Stove, stove, stove. So that would be one option. And then again, click on hotspot. I would leave the stove, but I might say something like, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Just as something funny to add in that would be socially appropriate. Let's get cooking. I hope that was a helpful introduction to Snap Scene by Toby Dynavox. There will be more upcoming videos on different settings, different ways to use it at intervention, different things and tricks that you can try to tweak the app and use it to help promote language development. So please stay tuned for those videos and leave any questions or comments below and we will get right back to you. Thanks and let's keep learning.